I'm Jossum. I'm Raccoon Chad. Hi, I'm Fat Tile 124. What's up? This is Gurk, guest starring you. on uh, TSG. Troll Stomp. Damon. <laughs> so Happy to be here. Good, you should yeah. be. Chad, just copy and paste that part and then put it at the beginning. You'd never tell me how to do my podcast. <laughs> never touch my stomach again. Yeah. Uh, I'm kidding, it's not my podcast, it's our podcast. Anyways, well, alright. Here we are. It's about 8.40 at night. It's a Sunday. Is it recording? Yeah, it's totally oh. recording. Damn. We're in live. We're, we're in Seattle. The Emerald City. Live from Chad's house. From MLK. <laughs> from MLK Junior Way. That's true. Where the play is play. <laughs> and there were five gunshots a couple weeks ago on Friday night, which was pretty cool. Only five? Yeah, just Seems five. low. Yeah, I know. I guess they hit their target. <laughs> they must have, because after the fifth one, I was just like, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's I hope that guy had a good life. Game over. Because that's it, man. Target yeah, acquired. one bullet left. Yeah. He's saving it. So this is our year-end review podcast. Um... A lot of new games came out this year, as you guys all know. You you played XCOM a whole bunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A shit it. ton of XCOM. Yeah. XCOM was awesome. Uh, it returned back to the real-time strategy, or no, turn-based strategy, not that weird first-person game that they originally advertised. Mm. Um, XCOM now is just, it's almost there. Mm-hmm. I'm sure this one did well enough to warrant them making another game, and they can test out a couple of theories. I haven't played the DLC yet, but from what I have played of XCOM, it's fun, and I mean, it's worth your time. Cool. It's definitely a good buy of this year. Did you guys play XCOM? I played the demo. Okay. I didn't really fucking like it. Yeah. I don't know why, dude. <laughs> I wasn't, I'm not really a big fan of strategy games anymore, either. I'm, I feel like I was spoiled, and I'm just a hater now on tactics games, because... Like the old school tactics games were my shit. And this then, guy too. Uh, this just, guy too. Is, that's definitely that game's so deep. It's so <laughs> good. Though. It never it's ends, crazy. right? Isn't that that game where you, like you can just level forever? I don't. Remember. Or is that Persona? Whatever. Uh, no, it's this guy. This guy is pretty eternal. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good word. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I haven't played XCOM. I'm not the new one anyway. I played one of the old ones before, but only minor. Um, probably a smart play by them to go back to the, the strategy style of what their their original vision of XCOM was. Because so I think any any original fans were probably like, okay, yeah, that's what we want. That's what that's what XCOM is. Yeah, us, you know? there's so. a huge outcry yeah. when they showed the first trailer of like, we're bringing back XCOM. Yeah. But now it's a first person shooter, but you go back to your base and you take technology mm-hmm. and it's just, it wasn't XCOM anymore. And yeah. Especially because, well, at least in my point of view, I think there's a, like, first FPS games, they're almost a dime a dozen right now. They're just everywhere you look. So, uh, RTS games are a little bit more, uh, a little more uh, in the niche, I guess. They're just, you don't see them as often, so I think that was probably a really good idea. Yeah. So, some of the games came out this year. Uh, Retro City Rampage, haven't played it yet, but I plan on doing a review of that um dance central 3 which is apparently a really popular franchise that people love in the connect i don't is that know the, oh that's a connect that's the connect yeah, that's the connect yeah. dancing game and apparently it's like the best thing if you ever get a connect like just don't get anything else just get this I, yeah central. i played a little bit of the first dance central game same and it it's a total like it's a total party game yeah, sure, yeah. but it's it's you kind can play of fun by yourself. yeah you, it's kind okay. of fun i don't know i haven't touched this since yeah. the first you're game. really not gonna want to just like yeah i'm gonna go yeah. home and play dance <laughs> central by myself dude like, i would know. do that i'm sad <laughs> <laughs> whatever like, it's just way more fun because like you're having fun and then you're watching people embarrass themselves and then you're embarrassing yourself and just yeah you it's it's a good time all around add yeah. a couple drinks into that game and that's where it really starts to go off you know yeah. yeah that's what i was gonna say like i've seen people play that at the mall when the first one was released. Oh yeah, and you're like, man, they, that's awkward. Yeah, <laughs> they, and they opened the uh, they opened the Microsoft store at the Bellevue Mall or whatever, and people that. were just jiving they shit hell themselves. hard. Yeah, people were driving so hard on Dance Central, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just like, how do you know what's doing going on there? Yeah. <laughs> but see, the thing is, like, that's people that that don't know what that is, and like, you know, as opposed to DDR, you know, it's like the same thing. Yeah, right? it's so, good exposure yeah. to do that too. Actually. Yeah. 
and a couple of the games also came out, which is a lot more than a couple. Um, <laughs> 007 Legends. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. No. Is that just like a collection of 007? Or is it just like it was, a rehashing of Goldeneye? But they already did that. Never mind. So it's not yeah, that. it was just going back. I think, and it went through different Double O Seven years. Your guess is literally. Yeah, as good as I, have I, no have I have no idea, idea. what that game. So was. yeah, that shows you how much exposure it's been getting. Yeah, yeah. seriously. One of us have really heard of it. I think. I think the, the problem with the Double O Seven franchise as a game now is instead of releasing like just dope Double O Seven games or yeah. The the problem is that they're just making movie games now, and movie games like they're really hit or miss, and like ninety percent of the time they're miss. Like well, I've played some dope like movie yeah. video games, but at the same time I've played some fucking awful ones. Yeah. And and we'll see. The thing is totally like a, a completely different podcast on Double Seven. They <laughs> they blew their load on Goldeneye. Like yeah. that is literally the benchmark of movie video game. Yep. And nothing has ever, like, stepped close to, like, but what that game was. The only thing they well, can do... was older, though. Yeah, it as was N64. Yeah. But the yeah. thing is, like... I'm saying, I'm saying, like, the release of the N64 title was way later than when the actual movie was, though, wasn't it? I thought GoldenEye came out in, like, the fucking 80s, dude. No, no dude. Really? The first came out in the 90s. Like, yeah. It was, like, late title. 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 It was a tie-in movie game, and then yeah. they tried to do it with, like, then every 007 movie that came out after that had its own game oh. that went along with it, but then nothing ever was as close to GoldenEye, because, like, <laughs> they just couldn't get it. Yo, uh, shout-outs to Matt Miller, who will not listen to this podcast, but that fool was the best GoldenEye player in the entire universe. <laughs> and awesome. Didn't play video games until, like, Halo 4 came out, now he just plays that shit, but, again... <laughs> Insane. Just didn't play video games and just the best golden eye player in the world for no reason. So <laughs> That's crazy. Shout out to you, <clears throat> Millimeter87. Yeah. Also, Doom 3 BFG Edition came out this year. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I, don't I remember, remember it. Being yeah, like, it was Doom in 3D on is, PC. That's, that's, that's what's it? happening? That's it's it. It's a 3D version? Yeah. That is the dumbest shit I've heard. I don't, I mean, it's I'm weird really to release about 3D it. stuff. So. It's, it's weird to release that, but at the same time, to me, there's like a little bit of value there. Mm-hmm. If you like Doom, yeah, you liked Doom Three. I got the, my pants scared off me the first time I played that game. It's yeah. so terrifying. Respect. There's yeah. so much darkness, you know. And, so much. And, uh, so if you want to see something, you can't really fight because you have to whip out that flashlight. <laughs> yeah. And all yeah. you can do is hit stuff. So terrifying game. So yeah. if, imagine that in 3D. It's like okay, there's a little bit more value to it there, but. It's still a rehash. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I would I would actually get that just because I didn't get the original, like, Doom 3. Yeah. Unless it's $60, in which mm-hmm. case, fuck that. Yeah. Well, I think it's on sale on Steam right now. Shout out to Steam sales. Shout but Steam sales. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Forever cheap games. Another thing that, that I've noticed happened a lot this year was HD versions of games coming out. And yes. I only listed a couple... But there were there were definitely more of uh, some popular franchises. Mm. Uh, Okami HD was released this year, mm-hmm. and I Zone of the Enders HD. Yes, God damn Hideo Kojima, <laughs> he can make a game. I need to uh, shout out to also the Metal Gear HD yeah, collection yeah, yeah, that came out right, last that year. Yeah. I got but, that. I yeah, did, wait, I as up, well, yeah. did I get that? You should have. Is this for PS3? Yeah. Then I got that shit. Shout out to me for getting that shit. Uh, as you guys already know, Halo 4 was released this year. Who gives a fuck? Nobody? All right, moving wow. on. Wow. <laughs> little the hate, big. The hate rages uh, yeah. within, within a certain record. I don't even. Uh, and me. I don't even want to talk about that shit. Yeah, I'll no, we're it. done. No, no, we're done. No, no. Halo 4. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. To Halo say about 4. That we're shit. just going to skip yeah. over it. Shout out to and Tyler Coder, <laughs> aka Tycho, for playing that game. None of us played it, so that's why we're skipping over. It, but shout out to you guys for playing. Yeah, you yeah. your boss. Anyways, uh, Little Big Planet Carding. Um, somebody else trying to get in some money on the carding thing. Dude, yeah, actually, but it's Little Big Planet, and Little Big Planet goes hard. Actually, I can, you know, that's the cool thing, though, because <laughs> there's a lot of, like, little, like, theme theme kind of powers that you can get from, like, playing that game. It just seems like it's a very easy thing to make into a carding game, which I'm, you know... I actually am going to pick that up. Like, I haven't yet. Yeah, I know like, it's okay. been out for Have a while, but... Have you ever played Little Big Planet? Totally. Okay. That was the first game I picked up when I got my PS3. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, the, imagine cart level design it's, and all the different like, awesome. gimmicks you could have yeah. with that. Sh- Shoutouts to... Now we're done. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh god, please oh, stop. Uh, Hawken was also released this year. They made their uh, their beta public. 
I haven't played it. I played the alpha. That was horrible. Like, I touched it for like 10 seconds. How was it? Was it gross? Well, I mean, like, I just couldn't... It didn't suck me in right away. And I was also trying out MechWare Online Beta at the same me time. Me too. That was fun. And between the two... Well, I'm already like a Mech Warrior fan, so yeah. I was like nostalgia factor. Like I, I was a big Mech Warrior Two fan, a Mech Warrior Mercenaries, Mech, Mech Commander fan. Mm. My dad's really into Mech Warrior, so like we he got into beta, and we were like playing together, and it's like, all right, this I was like I gotta pick one or the other. You know, honestly, without going into super detail, the problem with Hawken is that it's just another shooter. Like mm-hmm. there's no actual Mech aspects to that game whatsoever, nope. other than the fact that you're just in one. Like yep. There, that's just it. It's just a fast paced shooter, so yep. it had and potential, but the thing is, uh, it's funny that you mentioned that's just another fast paced shooter, uh, because Tribes Ascend was released this year as well. Oh, that's man. a fast paced shooter, cool, and that game is the shit. <laughs> when it comes to fast paced shooters, I'm not playing Natural Selection, I'm not playing Hawk. You should be playing Natural Selection, Never but we'll get to that later. Do, but <laughs> that's fine. That's, um, that's something that's cool to me, especially with Tribes. To me, one of the marks of a great game, especially if I mark a great competitive game. <laughs> Not only do you love playing it, but you love watching people play it. And I love watching people play yeah. Tribes of Sand. Yeah, it's I've only watched people play Tribes, game. but Holy crap. such a good game. It's impressive to watch people play that. Um, I remember somebody gave me Tribes 2, and they were like, play this. And I was just like, it was before WSAD, and I was like, I'm not going to play this fucking garbage. Yeah. <laughs> like, why would you give me a game that's not Wasad? Like, I'm not yeah. going to play this shit. Yeah. And then everybody is like, you're an idiot for not playing that. So... <laughs> Uh, Planet Side 2, haven't played it yet. I played the first one, loved it, heard nothing but bad things about the second one. It's, I don't know, it's a weird subject to touch on. I think, I think there's a lot of people looking forward to Planet Side, uh, the second Planet Side. Um, the first one had a pretty big player base, um, mm-hmm. but I, I think it's just the whole, um, like, what is it, the, uh... Mini tri- mini microtransaction. Yeah, structure. that's that's and a new. That's kind of their. That's definitely the new. You get the free to play, yeah. which is cool if you want to try the game out. But the the more you want to get into the game, the more money you have to spend. Yeah, and I think that's putting a lot of people off right now because they haven't gotten to really experience the game without having to invest the cash. From, from what I've heard, is their business model is more. You have to log at least a thousand hours to get like any game or like not any game, but any gun. Without mm. actually make like spending money to get points, yeah. The, so it's it's pretty much a pay to win business. Like strategy. everyone like, wants to be the next Team Fortress too, but they... like Blacklight Retribution, which was <clears> also <throat> released this year, that's a pay to win game, and that game sucks so much. Yeah. So I haven't heard of it. Yeah, I I heard of it, but I literally don't. Know. Yeah. Uh, Far Cry Three. Uh, that was definitely. A, a recent release. Uh, I heard nothing but great things about it. I heard yeah. it's like yeah. the best one out of all of them. I never played Far Cry, so I don't know, but it looks it looks Game, amazing. It, yeah, it's on the it's Cry hard. engine, so it can't yeah. be bad yeah. ever. I'm definitely going to look into that game as soon as I get a little bit more money and can buy I it. I like the first one. What's crazy to me is I never heard about the second one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't hear about it, I guess. I, I But I never finished the first one, so maybe I stopped looking. Um, so when I when the third one came out, I was like, "Oh, they're still making Far Cry." I didn't know it was mm-hmm. a franchise. <laughs> yeah, I, your brother's hell into that game. He'll probably drop some knowledge. <laughs> That's it. Sh- shout out to Mr. Squirrel. Um, that whole though. franchise is so weird and disconnected, though, because like the first game I remember was like, "Oh, gene splicing mutation! Sure. Like you're gonna be part jungle cat man," <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, that sounds cool." And then the second game was coming out. They're like, "Oh, it has really good fire effects. That's what's going to be cool about it." It's like, "Oh, it's the game where everything looks really cool when it's set on fire." And then this one, it's like, "Oh, it's trippy." And there's a dude on LSD, and you don't know what's going on, but it looks really pretty. Sure. So sign me up. Yeah, Yeah. I I have to try that one. I just want to hunt animals. That's like one of the bonus things you can do in the game is just hunting jungle cats for pelts. Yes. And uh, another thing that was actually the original intention of what this podcast was going to be about, Borderlands 2. Yes. And why nobody plays that shit anymore. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> oh, well. I'm about to go back and start playing it. I don't really know. I just There's just something about that just still hasn't hooked me back into it. It's just, I don't know, it's just not appealing. I aside, got... <laughs> aside from the story, it's the same game. Yeah. I think maybe that's Maybe that's it. why I'm just not excited about it. It's just like... 
I did this. Like, yeah. I don't want to do this again. I mean, some, there's a few changes. I mean, obviously the story is the big one. The guns, uh, Just obviously. different characters. Yeah. Feels more like you're buying, you know, a full price set, like 1.5 version of the game. Where yeah. Like a, real, like a redesign 2.0. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, there's if you're going to make a new game off a franchise, there's really two ways to go. It's revolutionary or, you know, you, you make it, like, you take what you already have and just try to make reinvent it. Better. it. Yeah. 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 That game's really fun if you have people to play with. Yeah. And for some reason, I was the one that got hella people hyped on that game, and then everybody bought it and played it without me because I was busy, like, when it came <laughs> out. And then I was just like, hey guys, want to play Bort? No, we beat it already. I'm yeah. just like, sick. I'll just play it by myself. <laughs> sick, <laughs> that's yeah. tight, dude. I'll play it by myself. Oh, it turns out this game's not fun at all by yourself. Yeah. So that's why I don't like playing that game. Like, yeah. what level are you? 14. Okay. Yeah. So another I'll another game up. that was that was released this year was uh, Faster Than Light. That game was my shit for a long time. I fucking love heard it was pretty cool. I heard it was really challenging. It's really hard. Even on the easy difficulty, if you get to the last part of the game and you have the final boss, mm-hmm. he spams so many missiles at you. There's nothing you can do about it. Like unless you have, I'm not gonna get into it. I'm not. That's I'm not gonna get into the drones. This but. game is still pretty recent. <laughs> yeah, it's oh god, it's so much fun though. And Torchlight Two, haven't played it, heard nothing but like amazing it. things about Torchlight Two. I, I want to play more because it's it's what D three. Yeah, have it's been. more of what yeah. D three. Really, that's, that's, that's what I heard. Really, what it feels like. Yeah. And as someone who loves the early Diablo <laughs> games, I played yeah. Diablo three for a little bit, and I was like, yeah, this is cool. Like, I can see this being fun. And, and then, then you got. I never it. bought it. Like <laughs> I never was compelled to go back and buy it again. Torchlight Two came out. It was on sale for a ridiculously cheap price. Got it. Tried it. Loved it. And like I, I mean, I, I would recommend it to anybody. Even yeah. if you haven't played the first game, it's such a standalone experience. It's it's funny that Torchlight Two was more successful than uh, D Three because uh, some people that were on the Diablo team left and helped make Torchlight right. 2, which is the same thing that happened with League of Legends. So I'm just thinking that we should just keep waiting for people to quit Blizzard because they hate <laughs> it so much, and then we're just going to get great games. Yeah. So just tell people to quit games. and be like, hey, you, stop, you should get quit. out, you should do something else. Like, make the, make a new StarCraft game sure. that shout I won't play. Shout outs to me for saving $60. Nice, good job. <laughs> shout out, Mike. Yeah, and speaking of D3, that also dropped this year. Sweet. It's fun. I that. mean, I... It's, the game looks like I, yeah, like it's really it fun too. for one playthrough, right? And like, and then you get the story experience. It just doesn't have any like you longevity feel to it. Yeah, to go back. Like Borderlands has the Diablo two feel to it, where like you're yeah. going through. You're oh, I can just constantly grind this boss over and over again. Try to get a weapon. Oh, I finally got this rare item. I can move on with the game and go to the sure. next thing. Like it has that feel to it. Whereas mm-hmm. Diablo, it's just. Oh, I got this random item with every single random spec on it, and oh, it's not good. <laughs> I better buy shit on the auction house with my actual hard-earned money that yeah. I work. A it's nine good to five thing for. I spent like forty hours grinding away at this game for an item, and it's I not worth anything. Could have bought it for four dollars. <laughs> and another game that uh, Mike actually got me psyched up about was Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, that dropped this this year. It hasn't dropped no, yet. It's not no. out. It's next year. That's yeah, I thought it was. Next I thought it dropped no. this year. No, it's, it's, it's in March. It, yeah. Oh, did it they hasn't come out yet? Yeah. yeah okay. they, it's gotten pushed a few okay. times. Yeah. yeah. That yeah, intel so, on my part. My that bad. game uh, worthy of a mention, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. The, yeah. I go watch that trailer right now. I did this and watch that trailer. Yeah. I didn't play Bioshock One for more than about four hours. The game's tight. I just didn't hook me. The second game I heard was cool, yeah, and oh my Infinite, yeah. dude, Finish Infinite, that game. I yeah. don't even care. I just want to play Infinite now. I don't want to play 1 and 2. I just want to don't play No, two. don't play 2. Yeah, don't just play, two. play 1. Yeah, like, finish just the first finish one, one. You're going to like it. Would you kindly finish that game? Okay, find me. There's, there's like, seriously, no better storyline in an FPS game that I've played to date than Bioshock. Yeah. Find yeah. me a cheat where I can just have unlimited ammo and I'll play that game. Dude, you have unlimited life, and you have a wrench. That's all you need in that game. <laughs> right. Dude, seriously though, I like the second all you have to do is just mission. get the perk where you can freeze people in place with your wrench and then just make it so that you do more damage with your wrench and then you can literally take down big daddies melee. 
Yeah, so you're it's just freezing them and hitting them in place. The There's that's a, nasty. a lot yeah. of ways yeah. to play the game. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's, that's how you break the game. I will but yeah, play eventually. Also, Probably. Arma 3 dropped this year. and it's, Arma 3? Yeah, Arma 3. Nobody played Arma 3 and it didn't come out yet. No, Arma 2, sorry. Arma 2. Okay. My bad. That makes yeah. sense. Intel. But yeah, yeah, Armor 2 and the what was the game that came with it? That shitty game that I don't even play the zombie. No, Operation uh, Arrowhead. Excuse me? But this, no, but no. Daisy. Daisy is the legendary mod that came out of Arma is the only reason Arma is even mentioned yeah. anymore. Yeah. And you should be playing it. Yeah. Daisy. No, I played it. The War like Z it. is a terrible game and it will eventually fade away no, it's because dead. Daisy is. No, it's dead. War Z's gone. They took it off Steam and refunded well, everyone. Yeah. They're like, hey, whoops, sorry for even putting this game on our client. My bad, here's your money back. Yeah. But as somebody that played DayZ, I have a lot of respect for it. It's definitely not my thing. And I fucking hate Arma 2 Engine with all my heart, and that's probably why I don't like it. Yeah. The so, standalone yeah. version, just wait for that. That's honestly, I'll, I'll try the standalone version, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be based off of Arma 2. Well, no, I mean, it's sort of, but I mean, it's going to be a lot better, because like, it won't be as like... Because right now, it is a bass backwards way of doing everything, because it's all based through Arma. Everything will be like simplified and like actually makes sense when you're doing that'll, it. That'll, that'll be alone. nice, but... yeah. Because, like, that's one of the main drawbacks is that it's just having to, like, do everything it, through Arma's system. Yeah. But, like, what he's created or, like, what they've created is just amazing. Yeah. We already touched on it. Um, Tribes Ascend was released this year. Uh, Guild Wars 2 was also released this year. Still haven't played it. Again, <laughs> I've heard really great things about it. I got um, to be a GM for a week. Yeah. It was awesome. I got to be a GM um, for a week. But, I mean... I've heard, I've heard a lot of good play things it. about that game. One of my friends is like, like borderline, like a like he's on the verge of either he could stop playing that game any minute, or he could just get addicted and play nothing else for like six months straight. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard good things about that game. It looks really pretty, actually, and the combat system looks fun, and like the the leveling up system looks good. Like honestly, it looks like a good, like well put together MMO, but. Just because of, like, where World of Warcraft is now, like, people... I don't think it's going to draw people away from it because the I've heard that the endgame content just isn't, like... Isn't difficult, and it's not... There's not enough of it, and that's honestly the problem with every MMO now is it's, like, you can't release a game with hella endgame content, and then, like, that's just not how it works. I mean, you have to build the whole game, and, like, mm -hmm. people just race to the finish and just play endgame content. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, also, just disclaimer before I mention the next one that came out this year, can we promise not to get too deep into this? Okay? Yes. All right. Mass Effect 3. It was great. It was great. <laughs> it was great. I have only played the multiplayer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a fantastic game. A great addition to the series. And... Really? What a way... It was... To... to what a way to end a series. It was kind of kind of crazy. It was salty. It was. That's it was. I it was. That. I think it was less than what people were like, were expecting mm -hmm. from the series. But um, that's the one I think. Statement. When I think about it, when I think about it, the whole entire experience of Mass Effect as a whole was worth it, even if the end, the end itself wasn't. You know, absolutely. The I whole agree. experience of the entire game of the whole, entire series from the first one with its crazy RPG elements. To the second one and the third one when they got more aggressive and more first person, faster paced. It was just, I mean, yeah, it's it's hard to find enough good space faring, you know, futuristic type games as it is, and mm -hmm. that one's just a phenomenal gem. The lore yeah. is amazing. Yeah, yeah. we sh yeah. I mean, we could sit here and literally talk about that game. Yeah, probably, seriously, that's kind of why I said that. <laughs> but, um, also, another one that I was really excited that came out this year was CS:GO. Even though I don't really play it that yes. much. I was still really stoked on it, and I, I will go back every now and again and play it. Yeah. So. I just have to say, I find it it's so amazing that in CS:GO they put like little Easter eggs for Left 4 Dead. Mm -hmm. You can actually find like each of the Left 4 Dead maps are in the CS:GO. It's a certain game type or whatever, mm -hmm. but it's just all of the locations are recreated within it. It's oh, it's, just, uh, it's demolition. I yeah, think. demolition. It's the demolition type, which yeah. is the it's like gun game. It's like 
arms race, but it's like w- with objectives. Yeah. yeah, and just yeah, all, cool. every single level is a level from Left 4 Dead, but before the outbreak, before the whole zombie. Yeah, yeah. so I just that, like actually. everything that's in the Steam cool. catalog is just like. Like, it's, CSGO is in the timeline of Left 4 mm. Dead, and then so is, um, Payday the Heist. Word. <laughs> Wait, the Heist? Yeah. That was, is, that's not a Valve game, yeah, though, is it? it? Oh, it is? It is now, it's like, in cor- it's in there now or something, because, um, one of the missions in the Heist is actually, like, going through Mercy Hospital. And, like, getting the virus and oh, all that wow. shit. And, like, now, like, you can use the Left 4 Dead masks in that game. So there's just, like, I know it's crazy. There's way more backstory and everything's connected. And it's just cool. Cool. I, Steve's I, doing I, it. I back CSGO. Oh, I, like, I, Sean's the one that got me into CSGO. Or original Counter-Strike. And, like, we played that shit for fucking ever. And, honestly, like, it's still Counter-Strike. So if you don't like counter-strike don't fucking buy it and don't bitch about it but yeah. if you do like counter-strike it is it feels like the perfect balance between source and 1.6 to me like it looks beautiful uh the hitboxes are good accuracy is like a little bit more strict than source but they fix the registry yeah but the, but the registry is still good yeah. and i think it's i think it's a great addition yeah feels faithful that's what i liked about it yeah my play time about it felt faithful because i was at Loved loved early one like early Counter Strike early mod version Counter Strike. Mm-hmm. Loved it when it was um, like a huge worldwide phenomenon. And then Source, I mean, when Source okay, came out, mode. it was just like it was such a it felt so wildly different. I was like, I'm not playing the same game anymore. I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but the new one, um, new one touches base with me, and I feel like I returned back to Counter Strike. I'm like, I'm playing Counter Strike now. That's awesome. It feels man. great. That's beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome. It's lovely. Um, uh, we already touched on it. D3, NS2, uh, Dota 2. Also. Whoa, whoa. We didn't even touch NS2. Uh, we don't really need to. Everybody should be playing that game. I just installed it today, actually. I yeah. plan on playing it. If yeah. you guys do play it, I'd like to hear about it, because I played the mod, and yeah. it was really cool. It's faithful to the mod. But the, and it, it just it looks like a standalone version of the mod, so is it worth... Yes, because it's everything the mod needed to be, and just a little bit more. Like, it just sure. fine-tunes the edges. It's got, you know, all the nice source graphics. Right. Um, there's certain upgrades that it needed, like the... Um, the Marines, they can have a mech now, and it's just oh, okay. such a good counter to sure. an Onos. Right, right. And then, like, you actually, I think, get a hive mind player. So, like, oh, you cool. know, the, yeah. they had the commander for the Marines, right. and now the aliens can actually have, like, so a hive mind it's sort of. more fledged, like, fully fledged. Yeah. It's like a real. Yeah. The real natural selection. Yes. How it should be. Yeah. Mm. So it's definitely worth picking up, and I mean, twenty five bucks too, right? Or is it, it was as cheap as like ten bucks. I want to say it probably went sales, down to like sixteen. So for like the sales, yeah. If yeah, keep your eye out. It will go back down to like it's the lowest price it had been. Pick that game up, like it is so worth it. Yeah, uh, Dota two was released this year, correct? No, yeah. it's still in the beta. But is it open beta? No, you can, you, buy, can you can buy into the beta for thirty bucks, okay. which is not worth it. Just play uh, all. Ask which is me free. for an invite. Yeah, I'll give it to you. Uh, Prototype two, played the first one, pretty fun. I heard the second one was disappointing. I heard it was fun. Yeah. I have it. How was it? Either. I haven't installed it yet. Okay, I got it for like <laughs> ten bucks or something. I was like, cool game. Fair enough. Uh, Darkness 2. Didn't play the first one. Yeah. I've heard actually really good things good about things. that. Yeah. Like I, for, for, I saw the Sage review of that. It was actually looked really good. For like a platformer slash like beat em up, mm-hmm. basically. Like it looks pretty fun, yeah. actually. Yeah. Um, a game that I played a little while ago, apparently they finally released it this year. I don't know. Uh, Super Monday Night Combat. Yeah. That game was fun. Yeah. That it's game was really fun. The LOL Dota version of Monday Night Combat because yeah. it has rotating champions. Yeah. I haven't played it because I tried to play the like beta of it mm-hmm. and it just didn't work on my computer. Mm-hmm. I haven't tried since, but I've heard nothing but good things. Mm-hmm. Uh, some Star Trek game came out this year. I didn't. I heard rumors of that. I didn't really know what the fuck that was. Um, Darksiders Two I heard was also really good. Yeah, I barely played the first one, but I 
I don't know. Just I want like to, another hack and slash to me. I so. want to play Darksiders because yeah. it looks it looks better than I think people have been giving it credit for, but yeah. I haven't been able to touch it. Yeah, one of my coworkers, he did nothing but play it when it first came out, yeah. and he loved it. Shout outs to Julian for buying me that game. Uh, it's installed. I'm going to play it. I promise. Okay. <laughs> I should stop shouting out. No, that's okay. okay good. You can keep shouting out. Uh, shout out. Gotham City Imposters. Oh, no. um, <laughs> yeah, I worked on that game. Tyler, tell us about that game. Yeah, Juggalos play it. That's um, it apparently yeah, has a really strong community. I uh, yeah, but it's you just bogged surprised. down by no. It is crazy how many dedicated fans that game has. The, like their people love that. Game. Yeah, <laughs> like, like I have some it's weird that because stop playing it. yeah, because it, it, it's like people who are like oh I'm sick of playing Call of Duty. I'm gonna play Call of Duty, but in yeah. the Batman world. Sure. And, like, they just love it. But it, it's so wacky. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's like, you Honestly, just jump in, you don't give a crap. It, yeah, there's so many overpowered you guns. Look, you're addicted to it. Yeah. yeah it just, I don't get it, but people who can play it and aren't bogged down by the server issues that it has, which, god damn it. <laughs> but. Honestly, I, I, I think that that game is a good move because Team Fortress 2 was just not good on console. People didn't give a fuck about it. Yeah. And, I mean, on PC, that game's beautiful, but then with Gotham, Gotham City Imposters, like, they kind of took a TF2 feel, and then they kind of took, the, like, the Call of Duty feel and, like, added them together. And, honestly, I haven't played it, but it, it actually does look fun, like, for just, like, yeah, like some, if you got, like, you know, I got 20 minutes to kill, like, I don't feel yeah. like watching TV or something. you just like, I'm going to shoot some mm-hmm. clowns. Yeah, you know, like, it's fun, and, like, you know, you get to make your game. different characters, and, like, it's fast-paced, just... It, as long as the game works for you and you can play with other people, it is worth playing. Okay. I think if you want, if you want to get a glimpse into that game's nature and if some of the people that play it, go to YouTube and look at an account called Red Ham U S L A, and just check that out. Um, guy plays under the name One Eight Hundred Laserface. <laughs> I've watched this. Video Goes crazy. And- just talks. Really funny the whole time. Super yeah. insane. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Yeah. Um, Final Fantasy thirteen two dropped this year. Sean, didn't you get that? Yeah, yeah. No, I played it. Um, I'm a huge Final Fantasy nerd, um, so I had to buy it. Loved Final Fantasy thirteen. Um, not many, not a lot of people do. Hardcore Final Fantasy players, it's really hit or miss. Um, thirteen two is like a continuation of the game, but at the same time, it's not. It's mm. different. Um, you has the same characters in it, but other than that, you're doing something totally different. So, fair enough. Worth a mention if you love Final Fantasy. Otherwise, you better just avoiding it. Yeah. Uh, one game that dropped this year that I was actually pretty disappointed about, uh, Soul Calibur Five. Uh, they kind of. It seems like they kind of tried to find like what people liked about the fourth one, and then just ruined it. <laughs> it's I don't like know. how can we ruin this game? <laughs> Let's make a fifth one and then get them hyped and then ruin the customization aspect. The customization in that game is worse than the fourth one. Yeah. Okay, the customization hasn't been the same since the third game. In my opinion, the third game had the best customization because you could also use different fighting styles that mm. didn't belong to any other character. So you were literally creating your own characters and then the costume looked better. The costume customization in the fifth game is just terrible. It's stupid. It's bad. Like, it's characters really have bad. that really weird, like, pieces just snap around where yeah. they think their and body like, pieces should be. The one the one item that always looks awkward, no matter what, it's the uh, it's the chain belt. Yeah. Because it always just floats around them. It looks like a hula hoop that's just, like, <laughs> orbiting around them. It yeah. just looks so stupid. It just doesn't fit to their characters. The fighting engine in the game, though, I don't... I liked it in the earlier games, but it's new. And actually, a lot of people are saying it's the best one yet, because I have mm. friends who don't play the series. They're like, oh yeah, I actually like it better now, and I don't like it as much as the previous games, but... Yeah, I will tell you, as far as Soul Calibur is going, uh, the newest the newest one is a better return to the competitive state of the Soul Calibur, um, Soul Calibur series, and I know that the people... The Soul Calibur competitive fans like it more than the previous some of the previous installments the fighting does actually feel a little bit better in the fifth one it seems like if there's one thing that they actually improved on it's the actual game itself sure yeah the gameplay that's where they like the the, 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 (laughs) yeah like 
the the customization is is a petty gripe, yeah. but it is a gripe that I have that I, I obviously really, that it was I something love. that was important sure. to us. It's definitely <laughs> something that was more important to me because I like customization in my games. Um, totally. Another game that Shout came out, out to Mitsurugi. <laughs> Shout out to Mitsurugi. Um, Resident Evil Girl Sucking a Giraffe. Is that six? Yeah. <laughs> haven't heard that part. Yeah. Uh, you haven't six, seen the logo? No. The lo- it looks like a girl an- giving a giraffe a blowjob. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I, just, I just got the anthology for okay. Christmas as a present, and I have yet to play a single Does it have a six one? Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, one through sorry. six. And, you should throw that disc out. And no. it doesn't... Just throw it I, out. I mean, I haven't played any Just throw it out. Games, so. or I'll snap you haven't played for any? You. Oh, I, well, actually, I played, uh, I think, four... I played okay. four for like so a one through hours. three are the real Resident Evils that everyone likes. After four is where it becomes an action shooter <laughs> game. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> and so <laughs> like six just follows in the line of an action shooter, mm. but then it's three different chapters of an action shooter. Mm. And so um, you have Close. Jake's campaign, which is supposed to be more like Resident Evil three. Mm. Um, Leon's campaign, which is supposed to be more like Resident Evil 2, and then Chris's campaign, which is more like Resident Evil 5, or it's just more running and shooting zombies. Right. With guns. Call of Duty. (laughs) Um, another game that was also released this year was the rehashing of Twisted Metal for the PS3. Uh, I haven't played that one, but... It looked really fun. It looks really good. I I don't know why I didn't have... Why I don't have that game yet. Yeah, it looks I should buy really it. good, and it's and from what I've heard, it plays like almost exactly like the original one. I love silly car shooters like it's that. it's fun. Yeah. I liked fun, it. Dude. I liked it a lot. I used to play so much Twisted Metal back when I was a kid because like my brother had that game. We had Twisted Metal too. And I was just so much better at it, and like he that was older was, than me. That yeah. game was absolutely ridiculous. It was fun. I just I, to me, I personally don't see why Twisted Metal would come back. Because it, I didn't ever seem like it was that big to me, but I guess I mean in terms of like That's huge. in terms yeah. of like Sony's like uh, franchises, yeah, their own personal franchises. You know, I guess it's not. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's something that they have they hold they hold dear to themselves. So I guess it, it deserved to see a re-release at some point, right? Uh, it's like they needed to. Um, well, okay. Sweet Tooth was in the Smash Brothers right. version. Yo, PlayStation All Stars. PlayStation All Stars. I kind of want to play that. Yeah, game. I'm going to get that game. I you should get it. that game because you can play it on your Vita. Oh, really? You That's should get sweet. that game so we can play it together on PlayStation. Because nobody it. plays PlayStation. I'll get it, and then I'll po- I have a PlayStation that works now. <laughs> Stop yelling, These first guys. of all. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, some other games that came out this year. I'm just gonna fire through these now because we're really. Really not doing good on Guardians time. Guardians of Middle Earth? Uh, Play that shit. Guardians of Middle yeah. Earth. Touch My Katamari. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Bad. Mario Party 9. Apparently they're still making those. Armor Core nine. 5. <laughs> yeah, 9. 9. They're on 9. Damn. Mario yeah. Party is like regular nine. Mario that will never go away. Yeah, it's, it's not going to go they're away. Even, well, yeah, because they, they have their names for have it. They, <laughs> yeah. They never did. They were always just Mario, Mario Party Mitzvah. Is <laughs> it was always. Start releasing. Okay, uh, so apparently Mario Party 9. Mario Party You don't even. <laughs> you just all ride around in a car together. I hate that game already. You all ride around in a car together. I you don't even cars. go on a game bar. Oops. You like, there's not even a game board. You don't go to different places. You're all on the same place at the same time. How does that work? <laughs> that sucks. Um, Armored Core 5 also dropped this year. Uh, <laughs> Sign Mora, which I haven't played yet, but I'm probably going to do a review on that. Closure, I played for the uh, Halloween thing. Ninja Gaiden 3, Fez, Woo! Lollipop Chainsaw, yeah. Kingdom Hearts 3D, Dream Drop yes. Distance, Stop. your favorite game yes. of the Yes, yes, keep making Kingdom ever. Hearts Games. Stop. <laughs> Trans- uh, Fuck you. Square everything. Transformers Fall of Cybertron, which is the shit. Double yeah. Dragon Neon. Yes. Fun. Tech and Tag Tournament 2. Woo. You played that, didn't you? Tag 2 is awesome. Oh okay. my god. If you love Tekken, you gotta play it. You gotta get it. Yo. Jun's in that game, isn't she? Yeah. Didn't they bring Jun back from 2? Well, the thing about Tag is like, it's like yell. the Marvel vs. Capcom of Tekken. They just, all the characters are in it, basically. Every character. Pretty much. Well, like, Jun. Jun was never, 
was never considered dead, as far as I know. She was just gone or missing, and then they just didn't bring her back for the regular Tekken games. They moved on. You know, Jonas. you had Asuka, you had Asuka in the game, Put which Jonas. is like a similar fighting style. But anyways, mm. uh, Kirby's Dream Collection for the 20th anniversary. Happy Hell birthday, yeah. Kirby! Forgot about that. Can't participate. Sorry, I don't have to wait anymore. Doa five. <laughs> Miss Pandaria, don't care. DBC for Connect. Up. Hotline Aww. Miami, my shit. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3, don't Looks care. Fun. Street Fighter Cross Mega Man. Still yes. Play yes. It. Yeah. Dude, and it's free. How have you not played that? I just haven't your played it. I just don't butt. like that there's I've no I've been playing save. Mega Man X. There's no, I've been like, trying to get Rain Man on that. Th- there's Man. no, like, save. Stop. No. Do you have the Hadouken? No, I usually Dude, he get doesn't it. get that, and it's like, why would you not get that? I know Hadouken? how to get it. I just don't. I never knew about it. Ah, it's... You showed no, me it's, like yeah. a it's month pointless. before. Um, it's not and then this, this oh, other you game, one shot everything. This one everything. game that actually was released Except this year Sigma as well. The last one. That no, you guys but the first, don't know about. the dog, uh, the dog you can kill. Hold in on, Shh. let the fool talk. <laughs> uh, last game that I wanted to mention was uh, this game called Feet Rhythm Final Fantasy. It's a rhythm game, but it's Final Fantasy. I played it. I it's a, heard of it. Elite Beat Agents. Yeah, but all Final Fantasy music. Yeah. So right on. That concludes the releases for this year. So it was a pretty big year. A lot of oh, and a lot chivalry, of big... medieval warfare. Oh yeah, chivalry was also released this year. Yeah, um, clanging, bro. Clanging. I'm clanging daily for sure. <laughs> you see yeah. me clanging. So I guess since we're already starting to talk about clanging. it, um, <laughs> let's get into the games that we played this year. Uh, Tyler, you seem to have a lot to say. Why don't you start? <laughs> you uh, seem like you look like you have a lot to say. <laughs> so of the games I've been playing this year. Definitely a ton of League of Legends. Nerd. Yeah. Yeah. That Borderlands, that XCOM, Natural Selection. Chivalry, Mon- Medieval Warfare, which you have to be playing. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, 3DS, DayZ. Uh, I played a lot of Skyrim this year, if everybody remembers that game. There was a DLC expansion. Yo, you got Diablo on there? No. Oh. I didn't play any Diablo. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody oh, played Diablo, yeah. man. Uh, just check it. <laughs> I just left that off my list. Uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors, if you're into those Dynasty Warrior type games. Next year, like coming up, 2013, game. there's going to be so many more of those games, like Fist of the North Star. Mm. Fist. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Fist of the North Star. It's about sad. to be filthy. Shout out to my boy Avery. Let me know about all that stuff. Shout out Tight. to Avery. Go ahead, chat. Oh, okay. Um, League of Legends, CSGO, Half Minute Hero, Super Mega Neo Geo, Climax. Not really the title, but that's basically what it is. Climax? Yeah, it's, it's Super Mega Neo Climax. It's like the continuation, but not really. It's just like they just rendered it in better graphics. Uh-huh. It's fun as shit. Um, the Room, which was this game that I got on the iOS. It was the game of the year for the... Uh, iTunes store and that game is so much fun. I love puzzlers. It's like the find the thing to open the thing puzzler games. Oh, so no. yeah. It's one of those. Um, Borderlands two, I found myself going back and forth playing magic, not just the card but the iOS and XBLA versions, and they play the exact same is that, except for the card. Uh, Planeswalker? Yeah, it's a plane Planeswalker. Dual the Planeswalkers. Yeah. How is that? I also found myself Super going back. Filthy. Yeah. They're all pre con decks, but I mean it's really fun. You can still customize sure. them though. Well yeah, the, it's pre cons with like twenty right. customizable cards that you can have. I always see those out. on sale on Steam and I'm always just like, Do I buy it? Do They're I actually buy pretty it? fun. Do I buy it? They're, yeah, they're not bad. Uh, if, you, if you don't like playing Magic that much, then you probably shouldn't get it. Uh, I found myself going back to playing Castle Crashers, because apparently I still like that game. Uh, <laughs> I played yeah, I played Black Tri- Re- Blacklight Retribution this year and was severely disappointed and puked later. Uh, Hawken, that was awful. Firefall, eh. Uh, Tribes of Sen, fun. FTL, Punch Quest, it's another iOS game. Uh, Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery, another iOS game that was fun. Brawl Busters, that was fun. Limbo, Splice, Beat Trip Runner. I just bought Limbo. Is that filthy? It is. I've heard. I've only heard good things about that yeah. game, yeah. actually. I just bought it today. It's just. So. It's one of those just, like, experience yeah. I like games. That, like, yeah. I need to get Journey, too. I oh, watch, dude, I, watch... I want to play Journey so bad. I haven't played it yet. Chad, you need play. to play Braid. I God haven't. damn it, you need to yet. play that game. I know. Um, it's, it's not. 30 it's Second Hero. You played a lot of that game. Yeah, Half Minute Hero, yeah. That game's fun as shit. Did you ever say that? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um, uh, Splice, that game's fun. Uh, I already said that. They Bleed Pixels, that was fun. Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Absec, Clangin'. 
Intrusion 2, oh, yeah. uh, Bastion, which is fun, yes. Puddle. Yeah. That game was released 2012? I don't know. No, no these are just the games was, I played oh, this game. year. Okay. Yeah. But um, Puddle, Super Meat Boy, Warhammer 40K Space Marine, which I'm pretty sure was dropped this year, and that game is really fun. Uh, Don't Starve, also dropped this year, Transformers Fall of Cybertron, Mega Man X and X2. Mega Man X is my Rain Man now. I own him. <laughs> uh, I played Cave Story for the first time this year. It was Chad. pretty interesting. Chad. I haven't beaten it, but I played it on your, your DS title, and you that was fun. such an experience right there. Yeah, hands, it was it was yeah. fun. From what I played, I mean, it was frustrating at Did first. Did you get the was... Steam version? No. No he, was playing... no, he was playing it on my 3DS. Yeah, it's yeah. free download version. Yeah. No, like, I have all... Both of the versions that oh. came out, because they just they made a 3D version, mm-hmm. which is best. Awesome. This is like my all-time favorite indie game, like ever. Really, yeah. Cave Story. There's no, wow. yeah, there's no better indie experience. Yeah, like really. You, the, watch this little documentary. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you this little documentary thing about it. But like, okay. yeah, one dude made that whole. Well, game. yeah, the I, music yeah. alone in that game is like, yeah, un- it's. it's unparalleled in indie games that's how I feel to me yeah. I feel like it's like you can tell it wasn't just someone's project it wasn't their school project it wasn't no. their job it was one one man's work of art his passion his love yeah. and his his journey yeah through creating Spent something yeah, that he years. loved that's you know? that's why indie games in my opinion are some of the best games that were that are released like ever like because they put themselves into the game. Like... Yeah. Ugh, it's just, you can feel it. You yeah. Can, yeah. Seriously. You get that experience. It's but then like, again, like, then I find myself going back and playing Kirby All-Star in Super <laughs> Mario World because I can't help but play the secret levels in Super Mario World and continue to collect everything in Kirby All-Star and the Great Cave Offensive. And that's pretty much... That boss mode Boss mode, rush. <laughs> which I, I beat this year with Tyler. That was fun. Uh, also, shout outs to Scribblenauts Unlimited, which came out this year. No, You're in that, that game. game. I am in that game. Wants to play that game. But no, everybody should play that because, okay, Scribblenauts <laughs> Unlimited, <laughs> that is the realization of what that game should have originally been because now it is online and it has a whole network of words and dictionaries oh, and no. you can make customizable stuff. That sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Tyler's in it. Yeah. Type Tyler Johnson in, and you get your very own fat Tyler to play with. Yeah. You can make so him do anything you want. Nuts. Anything. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Worth a purchase. Just yeah. For just for that reason, in you fact, should get it. I'm going to remote in from my phone right now and buy it. All right. Cool. Maybe. What else did you play this year? I think he Is that literally it? I think he Uh Oh, I played Asura's Wrath for the first time. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. That is an experience of a game. I am really into the whole just like. A game doesn't have to be that deep, just as long as like the whole idea is expressed. Like, it was like watching several different anime movies in one game and just punching stuff really, really (laughs) hard. It was just awesome. Yeah. You also played Dragon's Dogma, right? I didn't play enough. Hmm. I started that game, but I haven't really gotten into it because I want to, like, experience it, but I just haven't had the time. Uh, I didn't get to really play Lollipop Chainsaw, but I want to because all the concepts of that game I'm really into. Mm -hmm. So, I just have to. Fair enough. Mike? Um, I am the kind of guy that doesn't play hella games. I usually just play one game a lot Mm -hmm. but uh, I played Pokemon Conquest that shit dropped this year I played a lot of League of Legends Counter-Strike Go Skyrim Um, honestly I played a fuck ton of like not a fuck ton but I played quite a bit of games that like I only played for just like a short amount of time that I didn't really take note of we did beat the fuck out of Mega Man 10 we totally did teamwork yeah edition Mm -hmm. Um, I also Fuck. Oh, Guardians of Middle-Earth. Mm-hmm. Filthy as hell. Chivalry. Seriously, buy Guardians of Middle-Earth. Don't fucking not buy that game. <laughs> Chivalry. Um, that's honestly all I can think of right now. I'm kind of starting to maybe think about playing Dota instead of League of Legends. But well, it was nice knowing you. you yeah. 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 We were friends <laughs> once. So yeah, it was, cool. it was funny. Um, yeah, enjoy having no one to play with. 
There's a ton of people. <laughs> no, I mean that Way you know. People. No, I know people. I know people, man. You don't know nobody who plays I know Dota. at least three people. Minimum. Um, oh, yeah, and Battlefield 3. I played, I, I played quite a bit of Battlefield 3. That game's fucking fun. And honestly, they're doing a good job with that game because instead of just releasing new games they're releasing like actual legitimate dlcs that are worth the money now instead of just like hey pay us 20 dollars and you get two new maps and like three new guns there's like completely new game types and like they're adding like not siege but like fucking maps where you just there's so many vehicles and just so much shit going on and then they like and then they're like oh people love call of duty because it's just a mindless face shooting close range bitch war and so they're like oh we'll put that game type in for everybody too instead of charging them $60 for a shitty game we'll just charge them $20 for a shitty edition of our awesome game so good that's plan. cool yeah I think I hate EA with all my heart but good job on Battlefield 3 so <laughs> nice shout outs yes that's pretty much it for me uh, I guess it's my turn I guess <laughs> Um, well, for me, it was an interesting year. Um, the beginning of the year, I was playing quite a bit of, uh, I was playing quite a bit of RPGs. I got into Skyrim for a bit. I played, I was really excited for Final Fantasy XIII, too. Um, I got that, but I, I didn't get super into it. I mean, Final Fantasy sequels never really pull in, like, their original counterparts. Um, <clears throat> um, I was also playing some fighting game franchises, um, I was playing a little bit of Marvel Ultimate Marvel three, which is still it's probably one of the better fighting games out right now. Um, Street Fighter Cross Tekken drops, which was it was pretty cool. Um, definitely an awesome idea. I would I don't want to say that Capcom blew it, but they kind of did with that game. Um, everyone was expecting like the next. You know, I mean the way like Street Fighter four when it came out and it popped and it was just huge. Um, huge uprising in the fighting game community just kind of drew so many new players in and it still continues to <clears throat> but um just something about the way that game works just wasn't competitive it just like in the competitive sense for the tournament scene just wasn't really pushing the right buttons um i know that they're they're releasing an update for that soon so excited to see where that goes um, during the middle of the year, I kind of had a bit of a fallout with gaming. I was doing a bunch of stuff. Um, then I started coming back and got heavily invested into my first Dota experience, which was League of Legends, which I noticed that everyone here in this room says that they've been playing. Um, so that's obviously yeah. <laughs> been a pretty major contender. Um, a lot of, a lot of content releases. They release minor content updates pretty consistently about once or twice a month. And that just makes the experience, like, you have this deep experience already, and then you get a constant change every now and then that just mm -hmm. keeps drawing you back. And it's like, just if you're a casual player, there's a lot to be interested in. If you're a competitive player, there's a lot to be interested in. Hmm. Um, and it's not pay to win. That's, you can play that. Yeah. so cool to me. Because there's a progression from 1 to 30, you'll get enough of the influence points or the IP that you can get yourself... You know, to a to a place where you can compete with the other players yeah. that will spend the money, um, or a lot of other games like like uh, they don't do that as much. Yeah, just because um, like people can own every champion doesn't mean they're going to be good with every champion. Exactly, every character plays different, so there's a lot of complexity to that game. Even though there's really only three maps, everyone ninety percent of the player base is still really just focused on the one map that they've had mm -hmm. all that time. Um, so that's been that's been an awesome experience for me, um, and an expensive one, mm -hmm. but a good one. Um, <laughs> and then I started getting into a lot of more recent games um, just around now. I got into Borderlands Two, which has been really cool. I got into it late, but I have I have one friend that's been kind of going through the campaign with me. So definitely an awesome pickup if you have at least a co-op um, single player. I notice it's kind of not as fun. You don't have the dynamic, but still worth a play I think um, there's been a few others I played a little bit of chivalry I played some of the uh, um, what else what was that game uh, well there's been a ton I know I just picked up both Batman games and both Witcher games mm -hmm. which I'm really excited to get into those uh, Steam, Steam holiday sales been really kicking it out this holiday season so 
Uh, there's been a ton recently, but yeah, those have been my major picks right now. You played Torchlight for a while too. Oh yeah, Torchlight I see, I see Two. Was, Torchlight that's what I was thinking of. Too. I was yeah, Torchlight Two and King of Fighters. Really good experience. Those are the games that you didn't mention that I like. King of Fighters Thirteen as a fighting game. As a fighting game player, King of Fighters Thirteen was and is still an amazing game. <laughs> totally awesome graphics are super insane. If you love 2D, 2D artwork games, um, the sprite work in that game is phenomenal. The stages are gorgeous. Mm. And the, the, the actual fighting, the combat in that game is diversified. It's intense, and it's not, it's not overwhelming, and it's not super cheap. So there's a lot to be entertained with that game. Cool. So now that the, uh, the New Year's is, is vastly approaching, uh, what games are we all excited to see drop? Bioshock, Bioshock Infinite. Infinite. Yeah. I have at least three. Yeah. Uh, at, least. at least three games right now that I really want. All right. Um, Dota 2. Obviously, Bioshock Infinite. Yes. I'm a huge fan of the Bioshock series. Mm-hmm. One was an amazing game. Yep. Two was a great game. Mm-hmm. Not as well received. Nope. It's just, I, but it was still good. More of a combat game than a story game like the first one. Three is going to be contender for game of the year. Hands down. If not mm-hmm. game of the year, it's um, guaranteed. We already yeah. know it's coming, yeah. and I'm super excited about it. Um, second game I'm really excited about is the Tomb Raider. The Tomb Raider. It just keeps looking better and better. The the, the the yeah. Oh my god! Like I hated the original Tomb Raider. It was yeah. So stupid. So pointless. <laughs> I mean, I played it. I played some of the really old school ones, and I was like, "Yeah, there's a little merit to it." But I was like, as the series got went on, it was like, "No, what are you doing? Come on!" I you tried to play like your time. Tomb Raider three. That was like really the only one I ever tried to mm-hmm. play, just from beginning to end. And it just got to the point where I just couldn't anymore, so I started skipping levels, <laughs> and just the experience became so jarring of how right. that game gets towards the end of it, right. and just the supernatural element, right? And just Tomb Raider games have always been weird, and mm-hmm. like I'm just ready for this one because it's going to be more. Uncharted, yeah, it's, and like I know, hate people saying like, "Oh, Tomb Raider, Uncharted ripoff," but like, is not right. Uncharted the ripping off Tomb Raider? In a sense, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even go as far to say that Uncharted is a ripoff from Tomb Raider because those no it's not. treasure hunting games have, you know, they've been around for a it's while. Like, oh it's yeah, hey, Indiana like, Jones. Play. Yeah, like <laughs> you know, Tomb Raider ripped off ripped, ripped off of Indiana Jones. Like you could say that anything about anything. Like nothing is original. Like. You know, I'm sure there's so many people that would be like, no, no, nothing's original today. Like, well, duh. Like, if you compare it to anything else, then yeah, it's not original, but, yeah. you know. It's whether you enjoy it or not. Yeah, exactly. The Tomb Raider reimagining is going to be a definite contender for me. I'm really looking forward to it. It's a, it's. I love serious games, I love dark games, and I love, mm-hmm. like, really complete single-player experiences, so I'm really, uh, really looking forward to that. My third game is going to be a game probably not well heard of right now, but it's picking up some steam. I think it's called, um, is it called Remember Me? It, yes. Yeah. It's a, uh, yeah, the game looks really cool. It does look really yeah. interesting. It's kind of futuristic. If you haven't Paris. watched the gameplay trailer, go watch that right now. Yeah, totally, totally looks cool. Um, <clears throat> Uh, I like a lot of things they're doing with that game. It reminds me of a lot of... It reminds me of a mesh of different series that I all like. A little bit of Assassin's Creed. A little mm-hmm. bit of... Um, to me, I mean, a little bit of Mirror's Edge is in there. Uh, which is one of my all-time favorite favorite games of all yeah. time. You um, have a playthrough on YouTube. There, I do, <laughs> yeah. actually. It's, watch that shit. It's <laughs> go to... Type in G-H-R-R-K <laughs> on YouTube and watch... The playthrough because it's yeah so I did exciting. I did a single let's play of uh, the original well the only Mirror's Edge um, hope there's hoping, iOS games <laughs> hoping bad, to though. God they make a Mirror's Edge two um, Tyler Coder shout out to you <laughs> it's got a little bit of Deus Ex in it yeah Deus Ex Deus Ex that was that was a phenomenal game we didn't mention that at all I just started, oh, I just yeah. started playing it actually mm-hmm. I can't believe I, I forgot was that 2012 totally, yeah. we totally spaced Deus Ex yeah. three. Super amazing game. Yeah. Still haven't played it. It was it was I too short it, but, for me. Yeah. I mean, it was really good. The bo- some people had a gripe about the boss battles. There's an explanation for that online. Um, you can go check that out. But other than that, the game is really good. Totally awesome futuristic stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, Mario Party 10. <laughs> um, At least the, the next the next Kingdom Hearts game for the 3DS. Because then I'm gonna get a 3DS. Okay. And I'm gonna come over to Jocelyn's place. Just hang out and just 
3DS play that, about just it. Fucking <laughs> play that game. Sick. I'll quit my job and just hang out. I already play your job. All right. <laughs> uh, no, but I don't really, I don't really have any games that I'm excited about except for Bioshock Infinite. I mean, as a casual gamer, I don't like seek out like, oh no, what's gonna come out next year? Like, I don't do that. You know? I like to be surprised, honestly. Yeah, I, that's I not like... that's not my thing. I'm just too lazy. I just don't care. You know. Because I don't really, like, read the news. But I just like to sound cool, so... Like, I, I used to like you. to follow, like, when a game was coming out. Like, oh, yes, 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 it's coming. Actually, it's next month. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, now it's delayed. And then, like, yeah. there's yeah. that letdown. And then, no, I... like, games will be out when they're out. And then I'll pick them up. Because, right. like, I'm learning more and more don't pick up games when they first come out. Because, like, yeah, it, there's all the incentive with, like, all the first purchase DLC. But... All of that stuff is just going to be available a couple months afterwards, and then you can get Best Buy's DLC, GameStop's DLC, oh, Blockbuster's yeah. DLC, all in one pack. Because I mean, you have to choose one place to go to, and that is right. so Don't annoying. Don't choose GameStop. <laughs> Don't feed them any more than they already have. They're gluttonous and disgusting. Don't feed them. Um, actually, I take it back. There is one game I'm looking forward to next year, and that's Loadout. God damn, that game looks fun. You get to design and test out a gun that you make yourself. Everything. Hmm. You design everything about the gun. The bullets, the magazine, the the stock, the scope, the trigger, the the barrel. Like, <laughs> I forgot to use my pinky. <laughs> but, no, there's, like, so many things you can customize in the gun. And it's just, it's... You love customization. Yeah. yeah. It's so you great. Love... You can make it semi-automatic. You can make it automatic. You can make double-barreled, like, Burst. single. Like, Burst. <laughs> Six shooter. Oh, 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 <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually really pumped for that to 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 come out, and then maybe Firefall to see if they actually do anything good with it. Firefall's true release is next year. I think so. I haven't heard much about it, but yeah. I I, don't know. I could I've seen really some care of the art, I've seen some of the artwork, and I like artwork, so I don't know. Eh, I'll check it out. Anger. Watch Dogs is coming out next year. That, that should be interesting. Looks insane. You look insane right now. I know. That's <laughs> another hacking game where you're just dude in a trench cap on the street. Yeah. Taking out traffic lights. It reminds me of huh. it reminds me of Remember Me, but it looks like it's I seriously think that game's gonna be like revolutionary. Yeah. It looks like a Remember Me meets Heavy rain like style cinematics, but yeah. but a game still. Like mm-hmm. yeah. uh speaking of heavy rain, the did sort that, of was that sequel this thing? Year? No, no, okay. Heavy Rain didn't come out this year. Oh, okay. I played it this year and it was awesome. I need to go uh, back and play. Everybody it. should play Heavy Rain at least three times. <laughs> but uh, the new Ellen Page Simulator—it's like Two Souls or whatever. Ellen Page Simulator. Yeah, Ellen DeGeneres Simulator. No, but Dude, I'd, I'd rather play that. Honestly, <laughs> no, why but, would you want to play as Ellen DeGeneres? So it's like all the like you Being know Ellen wearing those That's ball DeGeneres. things yeah, on DeGeneres. your face. <laughs> A digital degenerate. <laughs> digital. <laughs> digital. Get that digital down. <laughs> digital Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> but yeah, Ellen Page Simulator, the game. It's called Two Souls. And like, they're doing all sorts of like motion <laughs> cap stuff. Two <laughs> Souls. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that's yeah, really cool. Okay, I'm looking forward to that now. <laughs> now that I get a place all in generous. <laughs> you, know, you guys giggling or what? Shut up, man. This is what I'm doing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Two songs. <laughs> I'm excited to see more Wii U titles. So far, I, I want a Wii U. Yeah, I want to play Nintendo Land. I want to play... Wii. Zombie U. Wii That's U. the only one I want to try. Wii U it, actually yeah. looks it, fucking cool. I know, played one for the first time the other day at my friend Robert's house, and, like, it's funny because, like, like I'm just, I mean, I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'm, like, the shit at platformers, so, um, <laughs> I was, like, like, I didn't need... And he's his, really humble, too. Guys. I didn't need his, like, assistance <laughs> on, like, available. on the, like, handheld device, but mm-hmm. he was still, like, assisting me, and it was, like, fucking me up instead, because <laughs> I'm just so good. But um, <laughs> but it's still tight. Like I think the concept is really cool. Yeah. And, like I, I you I, can interrupt me. No, I'm sorry. But Mario on the Wii U is fuck. It's fun. And it's, it's actually, HD Mario for the first time. Huh? Yeah. They that was the first time they'd ever gotten HD like 720p. But it's ten, it's 1080. They like hmm. they skip 720. Like we don't need that shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Just go straight to 1080, baby. Honestly, that's <laughs> not the thing that really I'm interested in about shit. the Wii U. But 
I'm, I'm just going to admit right now, and I'm not going to say it ever again, I originally said that the Wii U looks like garbage, and I was ragging on it, and now that I've seen it, it looks amazing, and I'm just going to eat my crow now. I understand that I made a rash statement, <laughs> but um, I actually want one really bad, like really bad. I want to so. play one, but I don't, think I, want to, I don't think I want to own the Wii U. I, I think I respect what they're doing. Nintendo's always been, you know, they've always been the different guy. They've always been doing things differently from other developers, and I think that's that's really like respectful. But it's also, you know, if that's is that what you want, or you know, some people the, yes, some people's no. And the me, thing yeah, that that makes it difficult is that it makes it difficult for the third-party companies to come in and make a new game. Right. Because they have to take this proprietary hardware that's really difficult for them to program with, and they have to learn how to do it, right. basically. So, like... And that's that's why games for the PS3 and the Xbox, like, the third-party games are actually good. Sure. And the Wii... The games for the Wii were shit. Like, because... First-party games? Great. Yeah, Second obviously. Second-party games? Like, third-party games? No. Like, getting a third-party game for the Wii was so... It was a bad idea. You just yeah. didn't do it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't pick it up for any other system first. Yeah, yeah. Like, the port of Arkham City to the Wii U, apparently just that game doesn't play well. Really? And, like, that game, great experience on the Xbox and PlayStation. If your computer can, ha- like, do fantastic frame rates, yeah. like, higher than normal, because, I mean, it's still going to look good on your game, but, like... If it has really high frame rate, it that I can't even believe how good that game looks on the PC. Like the frame rate was so fast and clean, I thought it was messing up. Like the game was moving too fast when Batman was jumping around the room. <laughs> it was just it was so flawless. Right. Like I've never seen a game like move like that. And was just, the refresh rate at one twenty hertz? Yeah. yeah like it was just amazing. Yeah, I was like watching it in three D on a PC and I just hate like. That. I do not like 120 hertz. It's it's it hurts my eyes, and I just don't like it. It, Mind looks, it looks awkward. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. looks it looks like a soap opera, and it just looks weird to me. And I'm just like I can't stand it. Like when I was over at Black Lance's house, he was watching um, Tintin, and I was like, "Dude, what's up with your TV? Like it looks the picture looks weird. Like is this a soap opera?" He's like, "Oh shit, sorry." And he changed it from 120 to the, to 60 hertz, and I was like. Stop having that as a fucking <laughs> setting, please. Dude, like, it just, sucks. Every I time he turns it. off his TV, it defaults yeah, to that I high know. frame rate. Yeah, it's horrendous. <laughs> yeah. Yo, uh, completely way past this, but I also played uh, quite a bit of uh, Skyward Sword. Haters oh, can, yeah. uh, can go ahead and hate on, but that game's fun as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, the only gripe I have about it is just the registry from the Wiimote. Um, but since my my Wii is pretty new, like it, mine's not even that bad. Did you get the motion sensor adapter? No, I didn't. For it? Okay, that sounds that's, tight. That's they. Yeah, they, you need that. Yeah, the Wii okay. Motion Plus. Yeah. That's like it's supposed to be like a requirement for it. Yeah. Oh well. Regardless, the fucking <laughs> the game, like the combat is still fun. Like the story is actually pretty fucking good, and mm-hmm. like, I mean, it's Wii, so the graphics aren't great, but the game's fucking fun. Like, and yeah. they do they do a really good job where. I, like, I don't want to say they, like, rehash content, but, like, you return to places, but they change drastically, and so it feels like a brand new zone every time you return to it. And that, I think cool. that game, I think that game's fucking fun, man. Awesome. I enjoy it. I wish I had a chance to play it. You can play it in my house, man. Oh, well, I'll... I'll we'll see. Okay. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So, are there any other, other games that you played or are looking forward to? Saints Row 3. Shoutouts. I still haven't played it. Same with Portal 2. I still haven't played it. Um, yeah. And Grand Theft Auto 5 for next year. What, what 5? Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto, Auto 5. 5. Hmm. That game actually, like, <clears throat> Grand Theft Auto 4 had some of the best graphics. Like, people underestimated it, but, like, um, people have modded it or whatever. And, like, modding the game doesn't actually, like, change how well things are, but, like, just, like, updated textures or whatever. And, like, I've seen screenshots, and it's just, like, that is a fucking picture. Somebody took a picture in real life and just, like, put it up. And it's I've like, had that feeling before. Yeah. yeah. And, but that was in, like, PlayStation 1 days. <laughs> oh, word? Yeah, I felt like that way once before. <laughs> I was a lot younger then. Yeah. But I haven't been I haven't been a fan of Th- Grand Theft Auto for a long time. I, like, I mean, I played Grand Theft Auto 2 was probably the last one I really enjoyed. If you're not a fan of Grand Theft Auto, but you like Cowboys... Red Dead Redemption? Right, Red Dead Redemption. I couldn't play that game either because I felt like I was Wild West Grand Theft Auto. (laughs) 
And yeah, that was it was Wild Wild, Wild West. You know, Grand Theft Auto. you know what game did Grand Wild Theft Auto? <laughs> you know what game did Grand Theft Auto way better because it was just a zanier version of Grand Theft Auto? Was Just Cause 2. Oh, God, that game was and so good. Just Cause 2 okay, was you it's guys, so much Everybody fun needs to buy that fucking game because they're working. Like, there's a third party, like, group of people mod. Yeah, that, is, that are making mod. multiplayer online Just Cause 2. God, it and looks that so much fun. shit is going <laughs> to fuck the world up. So much. I, I won't need any other games because I'm just going to be slingshotting fools around. Like, I'm going to be like, oh, you're in a car? Not anymore. <laughs> and then just whip them out of the Man. car, throw them off a bridge, and then drive their car off a bridge and just bounce out of my parachute. Like, what the fuck? I'll do whatever I want. If you haven't played Just <laughs> Cause 2. I'll do whatever I want, man. I'm Scorpion. Bitch. Just Cause 2 is exactly what it sounds like so far. It's every ridiculous <laughs> action movie you've ever seen or dreamt of. It's definitely, it's definitely a parody. A game. It's, it's definitely a parody. Every, I sure everything Enix explodes. Was not serious. You will fly. Yeah. Cars go everywhere. You, you have unlimited parachutes. You, you have, get <laughs> You get points you for blowing things up. And if that best, doesn't tell you what you should be and doing. And the plot, <laughs> the plot goes like this. Oh, there's an island of three different terrorist groups. You're now an anti. You're a counter terrorist, basically, but you're going to work for the terrorist groups to get in for them. And so, basically, you're just a fucking. You're a terrorist terrorist. Yeah, it's, it's funny like, because like even though you're like a counter terrorist and you're like trying to gain their trust by doing all this shit, but, you're destroying the island but when you're, you're doing all these missions you, because you're working for the funny. mobs. Yeah. You're working for the mobs that are against the actual terrorist country. So you're just a terrorist's terrorist. Like it's just fucked up and awesome. The game's yeah. just fun. Yo, and, dog, we heard you like terrorists. <laughs> so the terrorists and terrorists can do. Yeah. Word. <laughs> The top was still spinning. Um, so, anything else? What a great year. Yeah, a fantastic big, year. fantastic year. Big year. Real big. Pretty big. It's, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's way, Blops way 2 came out also. To play huh? at once. Blops 2. Blops 2? Call of Duty. Blops oh. 2. Oh, Black Ops. Ops. <laughs> oh, yeah. Call of Duty Negro Ops. <laughs> Tyler can, say, Tyler can say that. Yeah, because he's that guy. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Um, Happy New Year's from the Troll Stomp Gaming Peoples, TS, TSG, and CSM. And we'll be here CSM. next year with yeah. the recap of all the best games that came out in 2013. There better be there one. There better at least be that's more good. people. No. That's good. Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite. Already won. <laughs> it already won. Don't it tune did. in next year okay. because that's the only game Yeah, we're, we're not going to. Yeah. <laughs> Tune in, out, we're 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 tune in next time when we talk about Tune in next time because we, uh, I'm just going to talk about Bioshock Infinite. Because we're going to keep saying things while we talk. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's, that's, that's... I'm Jossum. I'm Fatal124. Uh, this is Gert. Been nice being here. <laughs> Seems like you almost forgot what your what your alias was for a second. Shut up! This is Raccoon Chad. This is Raccoon Chad. And Signing. Then, then we're off. done. Yes! We're done. Signing off!